Was that you clearing your throat there, Pete? Ready for the camera? Yes, certainly. There we are. Yeah. Morning. Hello, everybody. And we are Sunday. at... You what? So I was going to... It's Sunday. It's Sunday. I yeah, know, it's I know it's Sunday. Go into a <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going to... He was going to go into something. Anyway, we are here at Shoreham. And there's three of us today. Um, Peter, Mark and me. And we are hoping to get some fish um, before the rain comes in that I didn't even know was coming and it's just out of luck that I've got a hoodie with me but I've got nothing else so it's a bit of a schoolboy error um, could be getting wet but you only get wet once and if there's fish about it'll take my mind off it so um, we're gonna get down on the beach get set up and uh, see if we can start catching some fish so uh, at the moment it's lovely um, so let's get down there, see what we do. Right, so I have just put a little uh, little rig on, a little loop rig. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with um, salted mackerel on it. Because I'm going to see whether there are any bream about. Um, I haven't got a flapper rig with small enough hooks on put that to one side I haven't got a bream rig um, or sorry a flapper rig with small enough hooks on for um, targeting bream if they're about now it is getting late but I'm sure if there are bream I'm sure the bream are still around and uh, if they're here um, I will catch them on these small size fours so that's why I've gone with a loop rig because it's set up with the smaller hooks. So I'm just bait elasticing this mackerel on, salted mackerel. Little strip there. And then we've got the second hook up here. And I'm just going through three times. There. Back out through the middle. Like so. And then the last one comes out through the bottom like that straight in the bait and we bait elastic that on all up the shank now you really want to bait elastic anything on if you're going for bream they will just peck it to pieces they've got sh sharp human like teeth that will rip these things to shreds so you want to give it the best chance you can. So a bit of bait elastic just gives it that extra bit of life. And there we go. So let's go through this setup and then let's get this out. Just going to clip this up. Well, I was just up there, I haven't even got my rods out yet, and Pete's had a bite, and I think you're chuffed with that, aren't you? Yeah. Pete, well done, mate. First fish. Is that your first gurnard? Yeah. Should we see if we can grab that out? Yeah, can. Hold the, good, hold the fish. Yeah. Let go of the line. Yeah. Oh, it's in there, isn't it? There it goes. Oh, huh? oh, I got that out. Yeah, well done, mate. What we'll do, Get a nice little picture of you with that. But look at the fins on that, mate. Stunning colours. There. Oh. Oi, juggling fish. Look at that. They are stunning fish, aren't they? Okay. Pete, are you happy with that? Yeah, well pleased, mate. Right, do you want a photo first? Yeah, yeah okay, mate, and then we'll release it. Right, Pete, just about to release the gurnard. Go on, mate. Let's see it go back nicely. Don't get wet. Right, there he goes. He's upright in himself. There he is. Come on. Come on, matey. Look at the colours on that. Where's he gone? There he is. Come on. Grab him a bit further. 
he's gone. Lovely, well done, mate. Well done, Pete. I suppose I should get my rods out. I'm being a bit slow here with work emergencies and things, but they're all sorted now, so let's go through what I've got in front of me. I have set up one rod. So this first rod is the Gravity HT. Um, I'm gonna do a video soon of all the setups that I use and the gear that I use. I've been asked a couple of times, so I'm gonna do that. But there it goes, up there. And I've gone with small baits. And I've got a loop rig, size four hooks, with tiny strips of mackerel on that. There we are. Strip of mackerel there, strip of mackerel there. That's all clipped up and 150 so let's get that out now let's get this out let's off the ground thump this I am happy with that So Pete has just had this gurnard, so let's have a look at what he's got on. He's only fishing one rod, aren't you Pete? Yeah, Scratching really. Scratching around and I yeah, mean, not, a, a <laughs> not a bad fish on your first little scratch. <laughs> no, it's not. So well, you've got two of flapper basically, yeah, haven't you Pete? Two of flapper, lugworm, yeah. fresh lugworm and a 150. Pretty simple, isn't it? Yeah. Straightforward, simple. Straightforward, simple. And it's done the trick. Yeah. Well done, mate. You happy with that? Yeah. yeah. Right, well, you better get that out and get another one. Lovely run well mate. Right, I'm going to set my other rod up. So let's have a look. Right, so what I'm going to do is... I'm a bit low on bait, actually, to be honest. Your rod. My rod? Oh, my rod's going. My rod's going. Well done, Pete. What's that? We've got a bite. That could be bream. Oh, that's flying in. What's going on here? Have I got a fish on here? I've got a fish, I think. Have I got a fish? Yeah, that, that came in with it. Nice, what's this? Oh no. Oh no, I feel it then. I hope so. Oh no, I can feel it's up on the surface. I wonder what that is on a bit of mackerel. Have I got a bream? Be nice. It's up on the surface though. What is this? Not very big. Not very big. Don't come off. Come on. Oh, he's gone down now. Coming in shallow and he's gone down. He doesn't like shallow water. Might be a bream. Was it bass? What have we got? What have we got? Oh my God! Well, I have just caught a clunker of a mackerel. <laughs> that is a mackerel. Look at the size of that mackerel. Oh, nice. <laughs> that is a monstrous mackerel. It's good. Well done. I mean, normally these are classed as bait fish, but I think this class is an actual fish, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I mean, this is counts. This is this is me not blanking. Yeah. I mean, look at the size of that. That's well, good. might be a good idea to get the feathers on soon, but yeah. pleased with that. I'm going to keep him. I mean, look at that in my hand. I mean, that is a big mackerel. A big mackerel. Right, so I'm going to quickly... My rods are not out. I've got a third rod with me. I'm going to quickly set this up. 
put my makeshift mackerel feathers on. See if we can get some mackerel. Let's see if they're about. I've got a funny feeling they are, and they're down deep. So let's have a look. I've seen a couple of topping things close in. So I think there's mackerel about. I think they're a bit... Yes, yeah, a decent mackerel, that is. Yeah. If I can get a few more of them, I'll be well happy. Right, mackerel feathers. Don't want any of this to fly away. Let's get this clipped on. Right, let's see if there's any mackerel out there. I'm only going to give it two or three casts because I don't want to waste time. Oh, I think there's mackerel out here. Maybe not in numbers. Let that sink. Let that sink. Come on, man. there yes yes we are into mackerel we have got mackerel come on nice whoa -ho -ho. these are decent mackerel i've got here all right there's a decent shoulder mackerel there and we are keeping these come on Where are they? Oh yeah, there's some nice mackerel here. One. Oh, there we go. That top one's monstrous. The others can go for bait. We're going to keep these. Let's unhook these. Right, bit of a schoolboy error. I clipped just the loop, the loop of line into the clip in a rush. And it's obviously not going to hold. Here we go. Let's get this out now. See if we can get some decent mackerel. Yeah. All right, that's out there. Let's get this coming back. Come on, that's better. Get a weight on that. Come on, mackerel. Come on, have I just lost him? No, they're there, here they come. Come on. One mat called out of Duke. Yeah, baby. Oh, mat crawl everywhere. Let's fill up with mackerel while they're here. Come on. Oh, have I lost him? Has he come off? No. Yeah, we got a few on this set. 
These are good size mackerel, some of these. There we go, four. Well, the mackerel are about 30, 40 yards out. The smaller ones I'm gonna keep as bait. There we go. And I'm trying to get some large ones for the smoker. Come on, where are you? There, jumping. Oh, we got, we got three on here. Nice. Yay, come on. Well, we're going to stock up on these mackerel. Well done, Pete. Well, so here we are, Pete's on my rod, mackerel in. He's having fun. <laughs> Mark's got three monsters on his spinning rod. Be careful you don't uh, snap the tip. They're nice clunkers there, mate. Well done. The mackerel are in here at Shoreham and they have not been about much this year, so let's not waste time. Let's bag up some bait and some lovely fresh fish for the smoker. So we're gonna do this for a bit and then we'll get back to the fishing, I think. Feathers in a tangle. Let's not muck around untangling that. We're gonna get another set quickly. Mackerel are in. You don't know how long they're gonna stay in. So. Let's get a new set on. Right, I am in my box of shorts. All the things I'd do for a bit of footage. Let's have a look. Where are you, Pete? Lift your line up. Right, I'll see ya. Let's see if I can get a shot of these. It shouldn't just be big fish that gets you happy and gets you going. Catching any fish should be exciting. And I'm just thinking of all the smoked mackerel. they be I think they're swimming round in the big blue sea oh I haven't eaten any what's going on here oh I've lost it I've lost the touch well that doesn't matter I'm soaked anyway hey <laughs> That sea is rolling in. Where are the mackerel? Oh, yeah, there they are. There's a shoal of mackerel. Oh, nice. Come on. Oh, yes, mackerel galore. Oh, I've lost them. The sea is raging. Oh, there's a good one. Good, big mackerel. Yeah, baby, yeah! Mackerel. 
fishing for mackerel. I don't know if you can see this, but we've got swimmers coming across here, so we're going to have to stop fishing for a bit before these swimmers get past. Unfortunately, but I mean, they had their right to swim across like this. I don't tend to like it when they come and walk down next to you and get in the sea right next to you. Pete, Pete, got swimmers coming across, mate. Pete's going to go and try and catch one. He's not happy with the bend in his rod at the moment. Right, we're going to give it a couple of minutes. We've got a group going through. Right, I'm standing here in my boxers. It's tipping it down, but we're catching mackerel. So we're going to make the most of it. We are basically making hay whilst the sun shines, rains, whatever. Anyway, there's Mark. You having fun, mate? I'm worn out there. He's worn out. He's worn out. He's worn out. They're flying in on his little lure rod now. He's got a nice pile of mackerel there. Well done, mate. It's good fun, isn't it? Yeah. Gets your cardio up, doesn't it? Gets your cardio up. He's right. Gets your cardio up. So we're still here, still catching mackerel. Now, I know some people will be sitting there thinking, why are you bothering with a mackerel? Why are you just trying to catch mackerel? We're not, we came here for a day's fishing to catch some fish and we all like to eat a little bit of fish. So we like to take home some of our catch. Now mackerel is amazing eating fish. I can smoke it, have it fresh. And it's also a really good bait. So some of, some of these people down here will be going for rays, fishing for rays, which is fine. Um, but a ray is an undulate or whatever, is a trophy fish. You can take a photo of it, it goes back. Whereas whilst these mackerel are in, which are not in all year round at all, and this year's been really bad with these mackerel, they're great fun, they're great eating, and they're great bait. So we're stocking up our bait freezer, we're stocking up our food freezer, we're having fun whilst doing it. Shouldn't matter about size, a fish should just be all about the enjoyment. And this can't get any better. So we might, in a minute, revert back to bait, but uh, with this amount of uh, activity in the water, I don't know if there'd be a lot else going on. But anyway, we're gonna carry on mackerel fishing for a bit and then see what happens. But it's raining, <sighs> getting wet. Right, so I'm just untangling this rig here of Pete's and basically tangles in feathers generally are caused by you're going to slack on your line. So when you hook your first mackerel, you want to stop um, pumping the rod and working the lure. Once the first mackerel's hooked, start playing it like a fish, keeping tension on it all the time. Other mackerel will come 
that's not a problem. The other mackerel will come, the other mackerel will take the other feathers. But if you carry on working the feathers like a lure, you're gonna have that little slack period and that's when the mackerel tangles up with the rest of your feathers. So there it is, I'm done again. Pete's gonna get another weight on because he lost the weight. That's better, no mackerel scales. Right, on my only fish anywhere here, which I was starting to set up with a pulley dropper rig, I am basically taking that pulley dropper rig off. I am going to take this 170 and clip it straight onto my main line. I'm now going to cast this out and I'm going to try and cleanly hook a smallish mackerel and I'm going to slide it down on this as live bait. So let's get this out. I'm going to put this there, yeah? yeah. Happy with that? Yeah. Right, that I'm going to slide a live mackerel down. Right, so that is going in my rest. I'm then going to get out my slider rig. Basically, I'm going to put a two way slider on. So this gives that mackerel freedom to go up and down this line. This can go all the way up as long as that line's in the water. So that is ready to go onto that line. Actually, what I'll do, I think I'll clip it on now and then get a mackerel. Now, the video from these, I'll just put up in the corner. I've got a circle look on that. So let's get a nice mackerel, a small mackerel and get him slid down. So let's hope I can get the smallest mackerel. Come on. Well, we're into mackerel, so that's fine. There we go, what have we got, what have we got? Where's a decent one? That's the smallest and it's hooked in the mouth. There we go, right, this one. Is he all right? Was it the only one? Yeah, he's all right. Right, here we go. He's alive. Let's get him on this slider through the shoulder, there. Back out the other side, there he is. And he will slide down now nicely. Let's keep this line tight, get him in the water. There he goes, gone, swim. Come on, out you go. Swimming in shore, I don't want that. Out you go. Catch me a big bass. Go on, down you go. He's swimming out lovely. He is going right down where I want him to. Jackpot. Jackpot. Right, so we've got live bait on here. We're gonna leave him out, see what happens. Now, I think we might be done with the mackerel fishing. So we're gonna set up, Pete's going back on worm. Worm is going to be the only bait, really. They tend to leave it alone. They will take mackerel. Dornham's taking the mackerel bait and mackerel strips. So we're going to go on to worm and we're going to get fishing again. So Pete's just got a decent bite on worm, but surely it's not mackerel on worm. It can't be mackerel on worm. Let's hope not, mate. Let's hope it's nice bass or something. We'll see it. It looks very mackerel mate. The bite, the uh, fight. What is it, a bass? A bream! He's got himself a bream! There are some bream out there. Well done, mate. Little black bream for dinner. Might just be, be a keeper. Well done, mate. Gurnard and a bream. Well done, Pete. Let's have a look, mate. So Pete has got a black bream. Well done, mate. Well done. Right, so we think it's just probably a bit small. So Pete's gonna release the bream. 
Here it goes. Here he goes. Let's hope Pete gets wet. Go on, Pete. Get wet. Get wet. <laughs> it's gone. There we go. That brings back. Well, that's nice. Let's hope there's some bream out there. Right, so what I have done, I have changed the rig over from a little loop rig with small hooks to a sheppy rig. And on this sheppy rig, I've got size two O's. So I'm just about, well, I'm just here, baiting up the worm. Get it slid on, that's gone sideways. Why is that? There we go. Sliding worm on. And the great thing when you're fishing in a group is that you're not all doing the same thing. So I was tipping my worms off. I did the last time and Pete wasn't and he had that bream. So I'm not going to tip these off and Pete wasn't that far out either. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get these baited up. Last one going on if I can get the point the needle. There you go, last one going on. He gets baited on. And what I'm going to do is just an overhead thump. Let's go. Just an overhead. Overhead, nothing too strong, nothing too powerful. I'm about 60 yards. Oh, don't tell. Oh, my God. Mackerel bit that. Come on. That was in a shoulder mackerel there. Right. Trip. Oh, my God. Well... I've cast that out and the mackerel has hit it. Now I've got a mackerel on worm here. I think he's foul hooked. Let's see, he's gone right around that way. A bit of shoal. Don't want him to tangle my other line, which is coming in in a minute. Here he is, right below me. I hope he hasn't taken that. No, no, we've got. There we go. So there we go. I'll put out a sheppy rig with worm. And three mackerel have taken it. Has Mark got something? Has he got something? He has got something. Oh, Mark. Mark's well happy now, aren't you, mate? Mark's happy now. There we are, mate. That's a nice bass. That's a keeper. That's, that's a 42, 44. Very nice, mate. It is, mate. Well done, mate. You happy with that? Well done. What was that on, mate? Just on worm? Look at this. Well... We've got mackerel, we've had bass, we've had gurnards, we've had, well, one gurnard, we've had bream. Well done, mate. Congratulations. What rig's that on, mate? Uh, that is on. Ah, <laughs> oh, right, so you just got the worm on a pulley rig, yeah? Yeah. All right, just, uh, cool. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. I missed it. Bass. Slack. Oh no. Oh, my. oh, I've got him. What is it? Oh, I, I can feel something. I don't know. I don't feel mackerel, mate. I thought I'd lost. No. Now it's gone slack again. Come on. Where are you? There's something on this. Come on. There's something on this. Oh, have I got a mackerel? can get his mackerel oh I'm getting fed up with mackerel 
I'm not complaining really. Ah, oh, dear me. Mark's had a bass. Pete's had a gurnard and a black bream. And all I can get is mackerel. Well, it is really raining now. The mackerel are still kicking off everywhere. Um, but this is coming in. Looking towards Worthing Way. You can't even see the, the foreshore. It's very bleak. I think Pete's bringing his in. Mark's brought his one of his in. I might bring one of mine in now. And then we'll slowly pack up because I think this is in for the day. But I will be back in a minute. Well, I am back. What a session, Mark just said. It is a good session. Um, look, we are soaked. Pete's there, he's soaked. <laughs> Mark's in the back, he's soaked. soaked. We were slowly packing up. We sort of thought, ah, half hour, we'll give it half hour. And then as the Worthing, the, the sort of block of flats in the distance at Worthing started to disappear under this haze of grey, it our, our slow meandering pack up started to get very urgent. And we've raced back to the car, so we are soaked. <laughs> we've given up. Was that good? Yeah, it was that's good. That's good, wasn't it? That was good, Mark, wasn't it? Definitely. You enjoyed that? Oh, that's Great my. Um, session, that, wasn't it? that was a good session, wasn't it? Great I mean, session, I mean, I know a lot of it was just mackerel, but it's sport, isn't it? Definitely. It's all good sport. Anyway, we're going to go and maybe get something to eat. Piece Sam's in his shoe. You all right there, mate? Yeah. I turned into you, showing Bolt. <laughs> Doubt that's happened any. I mean, he, he moves slower than a sloth, so there's no way he's turned into you, so Bolt. No, that. don't say a thing, <laughs> mate. Make a free in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got a fair few mackerel to take, so I mean, for once, Pete taking his shoes off doesn't overpower any smell in this car because there's fish in here. We're going to get some food, and until next time, tight lines.